Not quite sure how to start this off. Gonna just kind of go with it. Can't start in the beginning because can't cover 30 plus years, you know, so we, uh, we deal with them um, like the last off and on through the last 15 maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but therapy session take one. Whatever. A lot of people know that I have had my traumas. I have depression, mental health, anxiety. Um, a lot of people know I struggle and fight with that. But I really don't think many people know. I just how fucked up and broken that I truly am. Maybe, maybe, um, I don't know. I um, can say that life has taught me. It's taught me very well that everyone fucking leaves. Like everybody, no one's gonna stick around. Um, yeah, it's, it's taught me that commitment, vows, fidelity, respect, honor, honesty, love. They're all fucking bullshit. That's all it is. And you couple that type of shit with with abuse, with mental, emotional, verbal, even physical. You couple that with abandonment. And, and people giving up on you in separation. You know, it's added to me, It's it, I've got PTSD from the traumas. I've got severe depression, severe anxiety, panic attacks. My self-esteem is shit, and I know. Don't you gonna don't let somebody else affect the way you feel. Well, you know what? When you're told that you're a shitty father, when you're told that your friends' husbands provide better than you do. When they're, you get told that, I guess I just need to leave you because that appears to be the only way to get money out of you. When you have all of your value assigned to a dollar amount. When you've been just fucking destroyed up and down. left when you needed the most. It's a very unique and fucked up feeling to have people give up on you. People that you've given your all to. You hear all that shit and you take all that fucking damage and you know, you know, it come when it's from the people that are supposed to love you the most. They're your teammate, your partner, your significant other. They are the person that like they're your fucking they're your safety zone. They're your safe space. The people that that that's supposed to be a best friend. And that's the people that are constantly telling you this. You know you you really do start to believe it. And after other people just leave. Different reasons. Oh, it's not you, it's me. All this fucking bullshit. Doesn't fucking matter. You know, my self esteem, my self outlook is shit. 
I look in the mirror and I fucking hate that fucker that's looking at me. I fucking hate myself. Being honest with you. Doesn't mean there's not things I enjoy about myself or like about myself. No, but I have been beat to a point of I just can't stand who I am. Because I don't think I'm worth shit. I feel worthless. I feel like a failure. I feel pathetic. And the only good thing I've done with my life is my kids. And I love them greatly. And they are the only fucking reason I'm here. But I even feel bad that I'm who they got as a father. I feel bad for them. And, you know, I don't want to be here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to check out. I promised my babies I'd be here for them as long as they needed. Especially, I told Ophelia too. Because it was after her mom had left. And I wanted her to know that daddy would always be there. And I won't break that promise. But I live for my children. I don't live for me. I don't live for my happiness. I've shut that off. I gave up on that. I just need to get my mental health and my physical health to a functioning point to where I can get my kids through school, graduated, and onto their lives and support them as best I can in whatever capacity that I can. Like I said, I'm here for them. Other than that, I'm a shell. And um, that's not me asking for pity or for s or something like, oh man, that guy's got his sword. Yeah, a lot of people have it bad. That was just a little touch of it. You haven't seen all of it. That was just a little sample. You don't even know half the fucking shit. It's great. You guys got to tune in each week for this kind of shit. Um, it's a fucking unique fucking feeling to hurt so fucking bad inside and to be numb at the same fucking time. So, this was my attempt, I guess, at a therapy session. I don't know if it was successful. All I know is um, I'm going through the steps I need to make myself better for my children. But outside of that, fuck it. I am... I love my children more than anything in this world. I'd do anything to protect them. I'd die to protect them. And, uh, and I guess that's about it. Until next time, folks.